It looks something like you. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. I have a different kind of video for you guys today. I'm teaching you how to make baby food. If you listen to Hello Baby podcast, we did a whole episode about homemade baby food. Um, I got some comments, you guys wanted to see how I did it. So we're gonna jump right in and make some baby food today. Okay, so first off, we're gonna start with sweet potatoes. So sweet potatoes, I think, are the first food that I ever made for McKinley. She loves them. So I went ahead and I removed the peeling. I peeled them peeled them. And so all I'm gonna do now is chop them up. I've got the water boiling behind me. I'm gonna make several different things. That's why I have the three different pots going. I'm gonna cut them up, pop them in the water, let it boil until they're soft, and then we'll go from there. So basically, the way you would make mashed potatoes is the way that we're gonna make these today. I personally think that the smaller the pieces are, the faster it, for them for, it takes for them to cook through. Okay, so now that they're in there and they're boiling, we're gonna let them cook until they're basically like really well done because we're gonna puree them. So, I don't know, on a medium heat, maybe like 10 minutes, I just keep going back and checking them with a fork for tenderness. So after, or while that's cooking, I'm gonna actually prep the next food. Okay, next up we have some apples, but we actually like to combine two things because it's a way to get her greens. So McKinley doesn't like veggies, unless it's sweet potatoes or carrots, she likes sweet. And I know that's a really bad thing that we've started, but the way I'm combating that is by combining apples with spinach. And she loves it. It's like one of her favorite things. So I'm just peeling some apples right now. You probably recognize this bag. If you're a Costco shopper, that's our favorite place to buy produce. It's, you can get organic at a really great price and their produce is just amazing. Actually, comment below if you'd like to see a video from me about our favorite things to buy at Costco, because thinking about that. I feel like it's a good one. I did a Trader Joe's post on my blog and, and y'all really liked it. So all I'm doing here is peeling my apples while the sweet potatoes are cooking behind me. Um, I'm using a potato peeler for my... I, I use this always when I'm peeling fruit or vegetables just because I feel like it's safer. Matt doesn't really like me to have knives very often. <laughs> and if you watch me um, cut some fruits and vegetables here, You'll understand why. <laughs> okay, so we buy one of these big tubs of organic spinach that's already rinsed, washed, ready to eat. So what I do is um, for every apple that I boil or, or make for this baby food, I actually then put one big handful of spinach into the pot. So, I mean like, I'm talking big, like, cause spinach cooks down so fast if you're familiar with like making cream spinach, so like it's huge. The reason that I do so much spinach to apple ratio is that she's getting more greens than she is sweet and I trick her every time, she loves it. Next, we're gonna do peaches, but we're gonna do a little bit of a twist. I'm gonna add some blueberries in. I learned from trial and error that when you boil peaches down, or I'm sorry, blueberries down, they lose their flavor, which means that they lose their sweetness, and they're kind of just bland. So we're gonna do that a little bit different. But what I did was I, I went ahead and I cut up my peaches, peeled them, and um, peaches are so in season right now at Costco. They're so good. She's, and she's our little Georgia peach. So I'm gonna boil these, and then as they get close, to being done, I'm going to add the blueberries in at the last minute just to get them a little bit softer and then we're gonna puree them up. So when I rinse my vegetables and fruits, I like to use a cleaner, especially because they're for her and I wanna make sure there's no pesticides or anything on them, but we do use, use organic fruits and vegetables. So I guess really what I wanna make sure is that there's no doo-doo on them, you know, fertilizer. <laughs> so I use um, a fruit and vegetable wash. I actually, I think I got this one on on Amazon, I'll link it below. This one's Fit Organic. I'm sure there's plenty of them at different stores, but this is just the one that we have. So what I do is I spritz them really good and then I rinse them and then let them drain. All right, so the sweet potatoes are done. I have my strainer down here in the sink. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and then we're gonna make it into baby food. So while I'm doing this, I just wanted to explain to you guys why I got into baby making my own baby food. There's a couple reasons why. One, it's for the facial that I'm getting right now. 
<laughs> all the steam. Um, no, I, I started making my own baby food because I wanted to know exactly what I was feeding McKinley. And I started reading this website, it's called Clean, Clean Label List, I think it is, Clean Label? Clean Label, I'll link it below. It's on my blog if you wanna check it out. So basically, I found out that a lot of baby foods have a lot of added chemicals, such as like arsenic. Hello, why are we gonna feed that to our kids? So that freaked me out and I wanted to just try and make my own baby food basically and that way I know exactly what's going into it. I can buy the best fruits and vegetables that I can find and also it's cheaper. Like if you're on a budget, it's way cheaper. So these two sweet potatoes are probably gonna make at least six jarfuls of baby food. Like that's incredible and you're gonna pay a lot more than that if you buy jarred baby food. So here we go. Here they are, they are completely drained. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in a couple of ingredients real quick. Okay, so a couple of things that I like to add to my sweet potatoes because I wanna expand her palate. I don't want her to get used to bland vegetables and fruits and that's it. So I'm adding a little bit of grass-fed butter in there. And then also, I like to add a little cinnamon. And I do that because I wanna add some healthy fats and I wanna add some spices and seasonings so that she gets used to other tastes. Um, I don't want her to be a picky eater. This, she may still be a picky eater, I know that, but if I can try to like introduce some things earlier on, maybe it'll help her. So now that I've got my cinnamon and my butter in there, I'm gonna add these to my blender. So I use the baby bullet. Um, you don't have to have the baby bullet in order to make baby food, obviously. I just knew from before I even had her that I wanted to try to make my own baby food, so I registered for this. It was a baby shower gift and I love it. But if you have like the Nutribullet, the Magic Bullet, or like a blender that gets things really fine and pureed, it'll do the same thing. I just personally like it because it comes with its own little um, food holders, containers, containers. Use your words, Ange. It comes with its own baby food containers. So I thought that the whole system was really cool. It's convenient. It comes with two different um, blades. So one is for milling and one is for um, pureeing. I'm making this up as I go, can you tell? Okay, so I've got this in. It's way too full. I don't suggest filling it that full, but you know, it is what it is. And then I start it. Hey baby, do you see what I'm gonna do? It scares her every time she's over here in the wheel. In the sit in the wheelchair. She's over there in the high chair, and so this always freaks her out. So hey, do you see this? I'm gonna do this, okay? Okay, we're gonna blend it up. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm just gonna mix this in a little bit more because it tends to really, like get the bottom but not the top, especially when you fill it too full like I did. Whoops! And then we're gonna do it again. You got this, girlfriend. Okay, so the cool thing about these jars that come with it is that it's got numbers along the top so that you can mark it to the date that you make the baby food so that you know how long it's been in the fridge. I think that's like just super helpful. Um, so I just fill this up and then, I personally, I fill them to the top. The thing that I forgot to say too when I was showing you what goes in here is that you, got, you have to add water in order to get the puree consistency. So don't forget to do that because otherwise it's gonna just be like chunky and dry. You've gotta have water in there. Put my lid on, and there you go. You have your fresh cinnamon sweet potatoes ready for the week. So I like to make enough food, well I like to cook her baby food one day a week and prep for the whole week, and usually that's Sunday, but I make a lot at one time because baby food's really only supposed to be in the fridge for like three days. So really I'm making about three days worth, sometimes like I'll let it go like four, I'll smell it, make sure it's okay. And then the excess, I go ahead and I put in freezer containers and I freeze it to be used later on in the week or maybe later on in the month. Okay, so I've got the apples and spinach out. They're ready to go. I added some water in here. And then I'm gonna add the blueberries. I don't know, I have probably about a cup of blueberries in there. They are rinsed, ready to go, and I pulled the stems off. That's important, because nobody wants to eat stems. I don't wanna eat stems, so I don't wanna feed my baby stems, right? So I'm gonna add them in here to the peaches just for a couple of minutes and let them boil. Like, and then I'm gonna turn it down to simmer because I don't wanna cook the crap out of them because then they're not gonna have any flavor. All right, so as you can see, it's this lovely green color, which is fantastic because that means that there's a lot of spinach in there. 
which is exactly what I wanted because girlfriend doesn't like her veggies. So I'm gonna change this to today's date and just pull it up, pull it up. Last, we're gonna blend up the blueberries and peaches. I added a little bit of water and let's make it happen. I feel like I'm like making shots or something here. Like I would even know, like I've ever even made a shot before. Okay, and then this is the handy dandy little baby bullet freezer silicone thing and I love it. And you can buy these individually on Amazon if you don't have the baby bullet. And I pop them in the freezer and then they easily pop right out when, they're, when you wanna use them. And then this guy, I'm going to fill up with this peach blueberry blend. Cover these up. All right, that is a week's plus worth of baby food. And it was so easy, it took me like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes when it's all said and done. Once you get the hang of it and you really get in a groove with what you're gonna do, it goes really fast and that it's done for the week, it's totally done. Another thing that I love to have on hand for her is barley. Um, that's just a grain that, that sh we enjoy. Matt and I is high in fiber, it's really good for you. So we do make a lot of barley for her as well. And we do oatmeal every morning. If you wanna find out about what type of oatmeal, listen to our ep episode of Hello Baby Podcast because we went through the different oatmeals and which one we found to be the cleanest and best option for her. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these, like more baby recipes, because I do make other things. These are just three that I was making this week that I thought I'd share with you. Woo, girlfriend. Keep it down. What are you thinking? If you want to see more recipes from me, let me know in the comment section below. I make, I do this every Sunday, so it's easy for me to just film this for you guys. So just let us know. Don't forget to visit me on my blog, AngelaLanter.com. And Again, check out our podcast, Hello Baby Podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and Spotify, and on my blog. It's everywhere. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I love y'all so much. Au revoir.